Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for my Angular Material series. This time we will take a look into button component of Angular Material. Before we start with this video, you should also know that uh, on my YouTube channel you can expect weekly videos uh, for web development tutorials and also the whole courses. So, if you are into web development, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, let's start with this video. First of all, for this video, I should create my own custom component which will be used to render material button component. So to do that, I will run ng, then g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components folder slash button, as we are working with the button from material UI. Once the component is generated, I will open up my app component.html file. First of all, I will hide my button uh, bottom sheet component from last video if you wish you can check that as well and here i will use button comment and let's use app button component that we just generated also i will put the end comment here of end of button and that should be good enough with that on our localhost 4200 we should see this button works text so that means that our component is properly used now, as we wish to use a button component from Angular Material, we must import the proper module for that. First of all, this component that we just generated, I will move this to a tab, and inside here we can use import, and we will import mat button module, and we must import this from at angular slash material slash button. Also, make sure to pass this mat button module in your own imports array. This should be enough to use these buttons. So now we can go into our own components and button component, open up the HTML for that. And let's see some of the examples from material itself. Well, button component itself is quite easy to use and uh, also to learn. So let's here, first of all, create a deal with the style attribute, which will hold the margin top to 50 pixel and also text align center. This div should inside hold a button and we can use a basic button. Let's set the basic text for this button and let's use, if you wish to set the basic button from, well, material, you can use mat button attribute here. So by this, basically on your own localhost 4200, you should see this basic text. If you hover over it, you should see this kind of button looking background and there will be this nice animation when you click on it as well. This is from material design. Also, let's copy this button down below. And for example, here I will set the primary button. And this is because I wish to set the primary color to my button. If you wish to set the primary color, well, any color to your own button, you can use color property here. This is material attribute. And here we can use primary. Usually, uh, material teams have their own primary accent warnings colors and well much more and you can customize those as well and as you know at the beginning of this series we used default theme from material so this primary color should be already here if we would now check our own localhost 4200 we can see the difference between text color and when we hover over our buttons we can see also the difference in the background as well Next to these basic buttons, we can, well, we can style our buttons differently and there is already a pre-created styles for material buttons. For example, well, let me show you some of the examples. I will copy this div and paste it down below. And here now, let me move this primary button here because now I won't use matte button attribute, but matte raised button. Color can stay primary. Also down below, let's use again raised instead of basic button and let's use a different color so you could see that exa example as well so the color here could be our accent color not primary color and the text can be accent as well so now on my screen you can see obvious difference the raised buttons are having already pre-populated background color they will have this animation and also a box shadow around those that is why those are raised buttons they, they look as they are raised from our own web page there are more styles that we can use so copy this div once again paste it down below and here now i won't use primary anymore let me set the accent for the first button 
and now instead of raised I will use stroked and also down below we can use again stroked and the color let's change the color to a warning color for example and text can be worn as the color is set to a warn as well now we can see how these will look those look as outline buttons obviously as those are stroked there is some hover animation and also click and focus animation as well looks nice and there is a small difference here but you can see that the warning color is a bit orange while our accent color is uh, pink by our own team next to that there is more, so copy this D once again below, and instead stroked, use flat, and here flat as well. I will set my warning color now to be first, and now I won't use color for my second button. I will use attribute of disabled here, and let's set the text to be disabled as well, so you can see how the disabled uh, button should look as well. So with this now here, we can see that the flat buttons are looking quite similar to our own raised buttons, but without the shadows, so those are not uh, raised from our own web page. So yeah, those will be just normal buttons. There is still hover and, uh, well not hover, but focus and active animation here, and disabled uh, button obviously won't be clickable as, uh, at all. Next to these buttons we can also use icons as our buttons. So to do that, I will copy this div down below, let me remove the first, uh, the second button because we will use only one here and instead of matte flat button I will use matte icon button now color let's set that to primary and here instead of text itself we can use an icon here so let's use a property well element of matte icon this is a obviously a material element and if you wish to pass some icon here you can just pass the text for this icon like home which should render the home icon for our uh, button here and in our web page now we should see this uh, icon itself and if we click on that we should see this background color as well which will show as a button for us if you wish to have a normal button icon you can also copy and paste this div and down below don't use matte icon button but use something called matte fab and here color can be set to accent and let's not use the same icon let's use delete icon which should be some kind of a well trash or a bin so with this now here you can see the trash icon here well a bin icon and here we can see the it looks as a button there is no hover animation but when we click on it there is this nice animation with the uh, background color and also the shadow itself so this is the icon button and this should be, well, pretty much it for Angular Material buttons. So, if you wish to know more about the Angular and Angular Material, you will have links to both playlists down in the description of this video. But this will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. So, thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.